Well, hello there, YouTube. I guess I'll uh, apologize in advance for the uh, for the wind noise. <laughs> but uh, welcome to Sunday, the 30th of October. Tomorrow is Halloween. The little kitties can go out and play. What a beautiful fall-like day. <laughs> no sunshine, wind, it's been raining all day. I uh, heard the rain stop, so I thought, well, let's go out here and say hey to the peats. Let y'all see some of the fall colors out here. Mama's got herself a little project going on in, in the shop there. Let's go, let's go see what she's doing. Man, look at all them fall colors popping out there now. There she is changing rapidly fast now, isn't it? Very nice, though. Makes me think of Christmas and Thanksgiving and all those things. I was thinking about that yesterday when I was on that ride, man. Smelling those, the fires from uh, people's chimneys and wood stoves and stuff. Brush fires, people, you know, there's no burn ban because of all the rain. Everybody's just getting rid of all their junk, you know. Everything that fell over in the windstorms, you know. Where's that little woman at? Maybe she's right there. <laughs> You got some little stenciling going on there, yeah. Mama. I go, what are you doing? She goes, I'll be out in the garage for a while. I said, well, it's not raining. Let's go out there and see what's going on. So that's how we started the vlog today. You guys sure were nice yesterday. <laughs> that's a lovely ride. I never did winterize my chipper. But I still got some chipping to do out there, though. You should have plopped out the little Harbor Freight table there and made yourself comfortable. You look all crunchy. Only I kids know. can bend like that, you know. <laughs> now, I can get down here. It doesn't mean I'm going to get up. <laughs> Might knock a motorcycle over trying yeah. to get it up, huh? Nick, yeah. It'd be cute. I'm going to have little coffee cup things right there and then put all the little hangers. Very nice, Mama. Well, it's time for the Himalayans to come back out. It's about the only yeah. thing that rides in the damp weather. Yeah, my Hemi is going through withdrawals. Yeah. Yeah, I've ridden her a few times. It says I need Mama to go out there and ride. Yeah, Mama needs to ride. Time to clean all the bugs off. Now that uh, the bug season is pretty much over. Man. Till the first nice day and then they come out of hibernation. Oh, yeah. They literally just jump right out of the woodwork, don't they? Yes, they do. It's crazy the stuff you stumble upon. <laughs> Something about the old spruce goose. It was actually a thing where they're, you know, it's like the kind of a brief history of it, but the main thing was about it being moved to that evergreen um, museum there and, um, is it McMinnville? I don't remember. But anyway, uh, one of the things I found out watching that is, do you realize the birch wood it had nothing to do with spruce? That was just a media nickname. It started out as, uh, what was it, HK1 or something like that. And then um, one of the dudes bailed out, so it became the H4 Hercules. But anyway... That birch wood was from Toledo, Washington. There must have been a mill here in the uh, in the 40s. How about that? The wood of the spruce goose was from right here in Toledo, Washington. How about that? So anyway, I keep looking at those goofy things, and I'm going, is that is that aspen or is that birch? No, nope. it's an aspen tree. Though that row of them. Look how all the leaves are gone. Boy, that did not take long, did it? I love all the birds you hear. I don't know why. It seems like there's way more of them this time of year. You think you'd be getting out of here and going hiding somewhere. It's beautiful. I love the sound. So the stenciling, the thing bled through the way she was doing it. And she's very upset that it bled through. 
I said, uh, she goes, I'm going to wipe it all off. I said, well, it's probably dried enough. You end up messing up your wood trying to get it off. I go, leave it the way it is. It's very rustic. Looks like, you know, the old boy, they stamped them and they did it really rough. I said, leave it just like it is. She goes, well, it's supposed to be like the cup on the right. I'm not supposed to have so much bleed. I said, nobody. But nobody's ever going to notice that. Plus, like I say, it looks very rustic and cool looking. She goes, okay. <laughs> I love it. You know, in hindsight, I could have jumped on something and gone for a ride out here. Because it never did. I mean, just these little misty things come by every once in a while, but not really enough to get at anything too terribly wet. Oh, well. <sighs> Can't go riding every day. But this time of year, you need to ride every time you get a chance because uh, it's going to end real, real quick. And just, it'll be times that, although, I, I keep saying that. You know, how, how often I get to ride at work during these rainy days, it, you know, I'll wait, there'll be a little, of course, I got the window sitting right outside me. There at work, I go, oh, look, it's dry for a second here. Let's roll. Yeah, it's sprinkling now. Just a real, real, real light mist. It's barely coming down enough that it's hitting my bowl glasses. I think it's less than 50 out here. I don't think it ever even made it over 50 today. Well, that's all right. You just gonna get them days. That's what's in that watch case press. So I don't have a watch. I just popped that thermometer out of that base that I showed you guys. It's all dirty. So what you do is you have, you got two different style cups. You got one that pushes the back and you got one that goes and there's different sizes. You can see it's written on there. So you want it to fit around so it's not pressing on the glass. So I found that that 34, it seemed like it fit the best. So anyway, you and then you have the, the solid pucks, like I say, for pushing on the back. So just I put it glass down so that I can hold it and make sure, I ain't pointing the camera, I always do that, that it's uh, riding on the metal, not on the glass. And the glass, as you can see, just barely, barely protrudes. Practically not at all. It's it's virtually flush with the uh, um, with the metal base. The glass is. Well, you get her in there, and you got a little hand crank thing here. You just you know, it gives you leverage to pump that thing down, and I push the case case back on it the case on these are the same as the as the watches man they are hard to get on though look at that where i'm holding it in my hand i kicked the temperature up how hot am i i don't think they react overly fast but i've got one of these on the iron it should be feels like it's oh i was about to say it feels like it's about time for that heater to kick on but it won't. It kicks on at like 61 and kicks off at like 63. I haven't heard it on in here. It feels kind of cool, so it's been staying warm. Yeah, there's the thermometer on the iron. But the uh, little four motion things, they seem to be very accurate. Got them on the, on the slim, on the iron. I don't have any of those things on Kelly's. But I talked to her about, you know, getting the handlebar clamp ones or, you know, mounting them on the base. She just doesn't. She goes, if I want the temperature, I'll just ask you. I said, all right, fair enough. <laughs> she goes, I don't want anything attached to my motorcycle. It's like it's stock. All right. Oh, speaking of which, there's a, uh, it came out, it was announced on the 24th. There's a uh, actually a safety campaign, better known as a safety recall, on I think it's 19 through 22, or yeah, I think it's 19 through 22 touring frame Harleys for a uh, a brake light switch that it may stick on or not come on. So I don't know. 
the old, the whole details. I haven't even paid attention. I think it's a pressure switch on these things. It doesn't use an actual clicky clicky switch. You'll hear it if it did. Yeah, it uses a pressure thing, so it's most likely going to be an ECM flash. But Kelly's flirty is uh, already ran the VINs. Kelly's flirty is involved, and my uh, my Road King is involved. Same recall. We haven't had any issues. Usually with those things, you never see the issue, but all it takes to create a federal safety recall is one to do it. So it's a, something to do with the brake light switch. It could either stick on or not come on. That's not a touring frame. That's not a touring frame. So you don't have to worry about it. This is essentially a touring frame. And if you ever have all the stuff off of these, obviously there's probably other differences because the reverse is electric and all that stuff. But if you see how the, the rear that's bolted on, looks like you literally bolt it right onto the Road King. But it's not something you can <laughs> do very easily. There's, you know, the wiring harness is different and stuff like that. But, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. People will do crazy things. She sure loves that thing. It is fun as heck to ride. Did I take you guys on a ride or did I just ghost ride that thing? She's fun. Tons of power at 114. She's nice. It's amazing how different that feels. It seems like I was told early on that the 114 was was a 107 with bigger jugs. That is not true. The 114 has, I think it's a half inch longer stroke crank and a half inch wider bore. So it's a nice mixture of both. It has a different feel and a different sound to it. Like whatever I ride, whether it's the Road King, which is the most like it, because these are single gear balancers where the all the soft tails have a dual balancer gear driven there's no chains and stuff running them like they used to be but um yeah i fire flirty up to get it in because she's too freaked out to maneuver through the hole and uh yeah immediately you hear the sound you feel and it has a different feel to it really cool very 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 pleasing motors those 114s but I probably for 23 the 14 did they do that last year? Yeah, the 114s just kind of are like the new standard. The 107s were and uh now the 114s are. But whatever. I have no complaints with that 107 or that 107. They don't do anything that I walk away going, "Man, if it only had more power." It just doesn't have any power. Dude Tote you right along like you're not even attached to them. But that's the king of horsepower right there. You don't want to get your fingers or anything in there. You'll find out just how much horsepower it has. What is the horsepower of that thing? I don't even remember. I think it said on there somewhere. It's 224 cc's. Yeah, that'd be enough to hurt you. That thing takes them three inch branches and just goes, whoop, gone. I mean, gobbles them. This upper thing is, uh, you know, just a, a it's like a big plate with a bunch of dangling arms. That one there has these little cutters that, this is just like scraps and stuff you throw in here. That one's where you put the big junk in. And it's scary. The sound it makes is a very, it's actually very satisfying. It just goes, wow. You're like, man, that thing is angry. And then there's the ever, ever. And I do mean ever so fun GT650. It's amazing how, amazing how many of you guys have bought these things and just absolutely love them. It's crazy the power and speed they get out of them things, like flat tracking and stuff. It's like, dang. <laughs> yeah, even those those are, in fact, they, they almost feel anemic the first time you ride them. But it's, it's kind of weird. You pull out in traffic, it doesn't get up to speed real quick. But, I mean, you're humming along at 70 miles an hour before you know it. And it's kind of like an old tractor. It's almost like the cranks have a tremendous amount of uh, weight to them or something. Because once you get them going, they just go up hills. They don't care. It's got to be a pretty steep hill. <laughs> Lovely motorcycle. She keeps talking about taking this thing for a ride. So, she's, I think we've probably taken a couple, three rides off camera. Don't film me. 
woman. And then she rides it. She goes, it's so easy to ride. It's actually easier to ride than flirty. Why am I so afraid of it? What she loves compared to flirty is, is just how easy the clutch is on it. And she loves them little stubby levers on there. I got to say, I like them too. I, I do that two-on-two -two thing all the time anyway, so I don't really care one way or the other. But I do. I really do love the little stubby levers on here. I usually don't use my whole my whole hand. I don't ride anything that the brakes are so weak I need to use. Remember the old days, the old drum brakes? You got all four fingers on there and you bound down hard. Or look out. <laughs> Alrighty. Kind of one of those quiet rainy days that didn't really rain a whole bunch. That's all right. It's very relaxing. Kelly's loving it. She's just doing, she's in there doing craft stuff in the in the kitchen there. She's got a little table off to the side there. And she's just having a good old time. What in the world? And she's doing a Halloween thing. She goes, I don't care that tomorrow's Halloween. I just never got around to it, so I'm doing it now. It's not what she goes. It's not like I'm going to throw it away. I'll, I'll use it next year. <laughs> well, hello there, you two. So we finally come out here. We go, well, let's do it outside. Because it's not completely black, dark out here. Now it's sprinkling on us. Of course. Of course. But you take all these outside goodbyes as much as you can because... Uh, there will yeah. be few and far between here for for the next couple of months, I would imagine. Yes, they will. Yeah, especially after next weekend. It'll be cold black by this time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah. And then you just start looking forward to spring and it all rolls back around again. Mm hmm Then we'll be crying about the heat and stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. We got to cry about something. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny uh, being at a motorcycle shop. You know, every once I'll get people, oh, you guys ever talk about the weather? That's kind of the world you live in when you're around motorcycles yep. all the time. Everybody complains or either loves it or, or upset that it's not doing something they want. But, yeah, motorcycles are a very outdoor thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> now we're going to go into, you know, side-by-sides and snowmobiles. Oh, yeah. The snowmobile things is already start kicking off like oh, yeah. crazy. It's nuts. It's funny. We just never that's so expensive and then going yeah. to the parks is so expensive and it's just uh, the heck <laughs> don't know who's one of them yeah i think it might have been birds are throwing a fit and the dogs are making weird noises yeah well anyway it's a very chill day mama getting a lot of her craft stuff done she really enjoys that i love that she's having a good old time but yeah i, I love days like this it's just where you no no pressure of any kind no, Which we're just pretty, whatever we do is what we do. We're kind of low-key that way anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't feel like it, we just don't do it. If you mm -hmm. feel like it, you do it. Mm-hmm. Why be in such a rush? I know. <laughs> but anyway, I think on that, before we uh, eventually get wet, that's a pretty dark cloud coming this yeah, way. Yeah, sprinkling on my glasses. Yeah. All right. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah. All right. That's we'll that see for you that. In the morning. See you then. Mm -hmm. Bye bye now. Bye.